guys, I uh, just wanted to give you a little update uh, and, and an example how to uh, you know, invest your money and get a, you know, a reasonable uh, return on, on your investment. Uh, so we are on the second floor of a terrace house. So we've converted, let me just show you around. So we've converted uh, unusable space, which was a loft, uninsulated loft. Uh, it was basically, you know, making the clients pay more money uh, for heating. Um, it was pretty cold. Uh, and it was, I'll just show you here. So, I think I'm drunk. Uh, right, so th this this particular one is um, uh, a loft conversion that we've done, and uh, this is a self-contained uh, studio flat, really. So it could either be for a family member that you want to get rid of, and uh, or um, you can basically just rent it out and get some income. So if you live in a house and you know you have some uh, entrepreneurial spirit in you. And you want to make some money or you want to pay less rent or mortgage then definitely this is the way to go because you could potentially close off the the stairs and have the the, the top floor completely self-contained so have a look we have a fully functional bathroom so quite spacious as well all you really need um, then you have uh, kit well, it was supposed to be a kitchen in, but really it's a fully functional kitchen, integrated. Uh, this one is from Benchmarks, one of our partners. Uh, we get really good discounts and deals from there. Uh, recently, they've done a better deal than Howden's, which was quite disappointing because we we used to work with a chap uh, called Tony from Acton Branch, but unfortunately they uh, well he he left or they fired him and uh, there wasn't anyone as good uh, to replace him and, and you know work with us uh, so yeah so we went to Park Royal Br uh, Branch in uh, Benchmarks uh, they done really well um, so the, the kitchen is quite good it's not an expensive kitchen but it still looks really nice and you know why because of a really good fitting that's the key that's that's the key to any kitchen so it doesn't matter if it's a 20,000 pound kitchen 50,000 pound kitchen or like this one, it's, it's just you know under three and a half thousand pounds with all the appliances, uh, good stuff, you know, hardwood floors. Uh, we, if, if you actually, I'm not sure if you noticed it, but we have only one radiator here. Do you know why? Because we insulated the hell out of this place. So we have like, like just, just, you know, too much, too much is, is, is not a bad thing when it comes to insulation. Um, so we, we have, you know, the, the, the floors are insulated, the walls are insulated, the ceilings are insulated. Uh, we made sure there's no gaps or anything, just double checked everything. Building control, they don't tend to uh, check as thorough as we do. So we basically check our own work and just making sure that uh, everything is up to the standard that we normally work uh, to. Uh, funny enough, the building control here was quite useless. Uh, the chap from Ealing Council came, uh, he was probably about 25 years old. And to be honest, he had more questions uh, about, you know, how it should be rather than, you know, rather than checking out our work, which was funny, which was really funny because then he, he was making all kinds of claims, uh, but in the end, you know, it didn't stand. Uh, so, uh, over here, we have the hot water cylinder behind that. So let me just show you quickly. So that's that's a really good space. It's probably where yeah it is. It's a really good space. Check it out. It's a really good space to store your water heater because it's unusable space. It's impossible to stand there. Uh, storage wise, it's not a, a, a good place either. Um, so yeah, definitely if you want. Uh, proper water pressure and you, you don't you don't want that uh, pressure drop when someone opens uh, a tap and you know you don't have to scream it's like ah oh, shut it you know stop stop using it I'm in the shower so if you don't want that get get a proper hot water cylinder get an unvented uh, system boiler and that will do the trick uh, so in terms of colors just very simple white big Velux window 
uh, 1.2 meters by 1.4 that's all you really need we also have uh, special blinds for for this window so it'll look really really good uh, when it's done uh, roll of lines on these windows in the bathroom uh, we, we have obscured uh, glass so you don't need anything there it's actually cracked if you can I'm not sure if you see it but yeah, one of our chaps uh, accidentally damaged it but we're gonna replace it so no big deal there you know th these things happen um, in terms of money uh, obviously you know uh, what, what actually happened here is that we had to drop the ceiling on the first floor because there wasn't enough head height I'm quite tall I'm nearly two meters and you can still see there's quite some space between me and the ceiling so we've done a really good job it doesn't look uh, low here it doesn't look uh, low downstairs um, and and it's very important because the last thing you want to do is do a loft conversion and you know the ceiling is on your head it's it's not cool it's not great it doesn't look good and you know it's not going to impress your friends uh, here's just a staircase it's not it's not finished yet but we're getting there so it's just going all the way down it's quite a massive staircase very spacious a lot of, you know a lot of good uh, turn easy to get your furniture in some of the jobs we've done in the past uh, there would be much worse in terms of space and the spiral staircase would be so small that it would be impossible to bring uh, a couch or, or a cupboard you know inside and it would be just just very very difficult very difficult stuff uh, in terms of investments so it's like I said you know it's, it's a great way to invest your money uh, so it doesn't matter if if you're uh, you know living alone in the house or you live with a family uh, if you have unused space above you, you might as well turn it into a livable space. So you either uh, rent it out, uh, or you you make a guest bedroom, uh, or you can make a, an office space, save some money on rent. Uh, there's so many ways to actually you know use it. You can you know if you if you don't like uh, public gyms, for example, you can always buy a couple of machines, put a couple of machines here, make a gym, uh, make a music room, make make anything you want really. Uh, it, it's definitely a great way. In terms of so, in terms of price, uh, lofts. You know, in, in terms of pricing up, uh, a lot is dependent on on the finishes. For example, we we have hardwood floors here, which which come about uh, well, three, five to forty pounds a square meter. It, it's a it's quite expensive floor, um, but it looks really nice and and it gives gives that character to the uh, to, to the place. You know. If it be a cheap carpet or a cheap laminate, it would spoil the look. We have really nice tiles, really nice uh, bits and bobs. They all match together, and you know you get that wow factor. And it's not even finished yet, so we just we still have a day, probably a day, yeah, just doing some snagging, finishing bits and bobs like you know above that unit, close that gap. No need for that. Uh, you know, silicon cleaning up, washy washy, all that. You know. So uh, the important part, the, the money part. So depending on what you want, you know, your loft would be probably in the region of forty thousand pounds if it's a terrace house. Um, the length of the house is normally about eight meters by five and a half. Uh, so it's about forty. It's about forty square meters that you're doing. So uh, at about one thousand pounds a square meter, uh, you can get your loft converted depending on the finishes. Uh, this one came a bit more expensive just because we had to lower the floors uh, we had we had about six beams here with a column uh, we also there used to be well right here used to be a chimney breast now it's gone so th th there's a lot of things that we had to do that you would probably not have to do um, so potentially you can do it even cheaper but it will depend on uh, a number of things uh, but if if uh, for like just a guide price, it's between forty to fifty thousand pounds. Obviously, you can also um, some lofts are even smaller than these. Others are bigger. So in terms of price, obviously, just give us a call if you want a quote. Uh, it's a lot easier to send us a, a tender package or just drawings, and you know we we can uh, draw everything up. Uh, the scalpel works. We'll count everything for you. And we'll give you a price so it doesn't hurt one way or another um, definitely definitely a great way to you know, you know extend your house and uh, you know incorporate that extra space that you have and you, you don't even think twice about you know so uh, I think that's all I wanted to 
basically mentioned today. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope I gave you some uh, information that will help you decide in the future, you know, what to do with that space. Uh, we are also doing a six meter extension on this property. Uh, so we'll be, we'll be definitely making a video about that. So we'll show you around, uh, you know, what, how, how to actually do it. I, you know, I, I'm not encouraging you to build your own because it's not a good idea. Uh, leave it to the professionals. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll definitely, I'll, I'll be definitely making a video. We'll, we'll do some forwards as well and we'll keep you in the loop. So stay tuned and I'll see you really soon. Thanks guys. Have a good evening. See you later.